We are in Windows Server 10 and I'm going to show you how to create a new organizational unit. So when you create uh, your Active Directory domain controller and you open up Active Directory users and computers from Server Manager in the Tools menu, then you get to see all of the default usernames and uh, various different groups that were created and you can of course create new ones such as we did in previous videos. But on the left hand side, uh, you see these various different folders that come with it. You don't have to just live with those folders. You could create new folders. So if we click on the name of our domain and we right click on it, we can go ahead and choose new and we can choose organizational unit. So it's just a fancy name for a folder that sits on the left hand side. So in our organizational unit, we're going to call it OU for test users. And if you want to protect it from being deleted, you can leave this box checked. We're, we're not going to worry about that, though. So let's go ahead and click OK. So you can see this particular folder looks a little different than the other folders uh, that you have here. Uh, it actually is an organizational unit that you can move users into. You can move users, you can move groups, you can move computers into it. So why do you want to create multiple different organizational units? Uh, units. Well, that's because when you set up group policy, you can assign them to not just individual users, but you can assign them to organizational units, so it affects a lot of users. And that's very efficient, especially in a large organization. If you want, you can also create sub-organizational units just by right-clicking on the OU, choose new OU, and we'll just call it sub-OU just for our uh, video purposes. Click OK. And now we have a sub-organizational unit. And of course, you can just keep creating subs uh, if you want, uh, but it does get harder to manage. So it's best to have uh, sort of wide and shallow, shallow than narrow and deep. All right, so now you know how to create an organizational unit. You know why it's there. And you can go into group policy, and you can set up policies that get applied to this.